Hello again. Hello, 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 guys. It's Miss T. And you know what time it is? It's story time. And today we are reading a story called Feathers for Lunch. And because we are talking about birds all month long, we're reading about feathers because birds have feathers, right? Okay, it says feathers for lunch. Uh-oh, doors left open, just a crack. My cat is out and he won't come back. He's looking for lunch, something new. Look at the cat, those big eyes. Ooh, look at Miss T's big eyes. A spicy treat for today's menu. Spicy. His food in a can is tame and mild. There's the cat, there's the bird. I see flowers. So he's gone out for something wild. He's looking for something wild. He's snooping and sneaking. Those birds sure look good. Do cats eat birds? I don't know, let's see. If he could catch one, he'd eat it. He would. Oh my goodness, the cat would eat the bird. But when his bell jingles, birds call a loud warning. Big cat got out early this morning. Look, the birds are talking to each other. <laughs> They're looking out for that cat. But cats can't fly and they can't soar. I've never seen a cat fly, have you? And birds know what their wings are for. What do birds do with their wings? Do you know? I know some of you know. So he keeps prowling, hoping to munch. Munch on what? Munch on what? Watch out, birds. But all he catches are feathers for lunch. Look, the birds flew away. You see all the feathers? <laughs> oh, no. That's all he got was feathers for lunch. The end. I sure hope you guys enjoyed feathers for lunch. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.